In this video, I'm going to talk about my honest review on Bluevine Business Bank. I've been using Bluevine for about a year now, and there are seven pros and two cons that I want to share with you. The first pro for the Bluevine Business Bank account is that it has no monthly fees to maintain the account. That was what initially attracted me to sign up for an account in the first place, because I had several business bank accounts, and every month I was just paying fees just to maintain them. Because typically with many of the traditional business bank accounts, you need to keep a certain minimum balance in the account in order to avoid the maintenance fee. With Bluevine, there's no such requirement. Speaking of fees, Bluevine also doesn't charge any overdraft fees or ATM fees within the in-network ATMs. Also, there is no transaction limits, meaning you would not get charged extra if you go over a certain number of transactions in your account. So I think those are really great perks as well. The second pro about Bluevine is that it is really easy and quick to set up and you can complete the entire process online. So you don't need to call your bank, schedule a time with the business banker, drive to the bank and spend two hours there. The application for Bluevine, which can be done entirely online, takes only a few minutes, so you can get it done fast with no hassle. The third benefit is that you can set up extra sub accounts in a matter of seconds. For example, if you want a separate bank account for either taxes, payroll, or for emergency purposes, you can easily create them inside of your online portal and you will get a separate account number for each sub account. To set up a sub account, you just need to go to your dashboard and click on add sub account, click next, select what you want to use the sub account for, Click the add button and then the sub account will be created for you. If you were to do this in a traditional business bank, you would need to go to the branch again, spend time to set up another new account and maintain the requirement for each account. So to me, this is such a big benefit. The next pro is that your deposits are protected with FDIC insurance of up to 3 million, which is 12 times more than the standard coverage of 250,000. So you can have peace of mind that your deposit is safe with Bluevine. The fifth pro is that you can earn 2% APY interest on balances up to 250,000. To qualify for this, you only need to meet one of two conditions, either receive at least 2,500 a month in deposits or spend $500 on a business debit card. Pro number six is that the online dashboard is really easy to use. The interface is clean and intuitive. They also have a mobile app that is well designed and user friendly as well. And the last and seventh pro is that you get live support from real people if you ever need any help. You can get customer support by phone, email, or chat during business hours. So if you have any questions, you can be rest assured that you will get the help you need. So those are the seven things I love about Bluevine Business Bank. Now let's talk about the cons of Bluevine. My only big complaint about them is that you cannot use Zelle in your account. This was a con for me at first because prior to switching over to Bluevine, I was accustomed to using Zelle to send and receive payments to vendors and contractors. So this was a small adjustment that I had to make. So as a remedy, you can use ACH transaction instead and they're free of charge to use in Bluevine. So overall, it wasn't that big of a deal as long as I had a convenient way to send and receive payments to others. And a common question that I hear often about Bluevine is if you could use Vemo with it. And the answer is yes, you do have the ability to connect your Venmo account to your Bluevine account. Another kind about Bluevine is that it is not that convenient if you need to deposit a lot of cash for your business. Because although you are able to deposit cash, there's either a fee of $4.95 or 0.5% of your total deposit amount each time. So this does not affect me at all because I don't collect any cash in my business. But I could see that if your business needs to collect and deposit a lot of cash, then Bluevine may not be the best choice in terms of your business banking. So Overall, I think Bluevine is an amazing option for most businesses as long as you don't need to deposit cash often. And if you do decide to register for an account, I have listed a link below. I would highly appreciate it if you go through my link as it will help support the channel at no extra cost to you. When you click on the link below, it will directly take you to this registration page and we can come to click on open account. So next we are going to select the entity type. So you can select the entity type that is applicable to you. And for this example, I would just go with LLC. Enter your first and last name. Enter your email address. Enter your phone number. And then create a password. Click on this checkbox and click on get started. So on this page, you just need to enter your legal business name. So for this example, I'll just enter Derek Kumo LLC. Enter your business address. Enter your business phone number. You can enter your website here if you have one and then enter your annual revenue. So this could be your annual revenue from last year if you are a existing business. And if you are a brand new business, then this will be your projected annual revenue. So next we need to enter your tax ID or EIN. So if you're registering as a LLC or corporation, then this would be your EIN. And if you're registering as a sole proprietor, then this would be your social security number. 
Next, we need to select the industry that your business is in. So for this example, I will just go with professional services. And for this subcategory, I will just select management and technical consulting services and select the number of employees you have. So I'll just put down none and click on next. And then on this page, you just need to complete some of your basic information about yourself. So you just need to put down your name, your home address, your date of birth, your social security number, and then enter the percentage of business that's owned by you. So I'll just go with 100%. You can click on this checkbox and click on continue. So next you would just need to verify your phone number. So they will send you a verification code and you would just need to enter it here. And after you verified your phone number, then you would be able to submit your application for review. And typically it's a very quick turnaround process. In my experience, it took about a day to hear back from them. And if you have any questions along the way, you can always call them at this number here and they'll be able to tell you your application status. So that's how you register for a Bluevine business bank account. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below.